Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be making a halftone or Spider-Verse or Ben Day dots uh, shader in Blender. Uh, but before I start, I just want to say that over on the Discord, I have a challenge running. There are some prizes uh, for my Gumroad. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description to join the Discord server. The first thing I want to do is switch to Eevee. Just make sure you're in Eevee because we're going to be using the shader to RGB node, which is only available in Eevee. You probably wouldn't even want to render this in cycles since it's just so abstract. So this shouldn't be an issue, uh, but just make sure you're in Eevee. Also going to switch to rendered mode and deleting the default cube. All right, opening up the shader editor here, clicking new to make a new material, calling this something like uh, Ben Day Dots. And if you Google this, it's uh, actually pretty interesting uh, how they printed comic books back in the day. So yeah, some uh, history lessons here. But let's just crack on with the shader. So the first thing I want to do is add in a diffuse BSDF. You can also add in a, a principal BSDF. I'm not going to use a metallic or any of those other things anyway. So yeah, that, that doesn't really matter for me. Uh, just like this, uh, white is uh, fine. If you search for Ben Day Dots, you will see how it works. And it's basically three different layers on top of each other. It's a cyan, a magenta and yellow printed on top, which can create uh, red, green, and blue, and then um, black as well, because you work with subtractive uh, primaries. Uh, in Blender, we don't have the luxury for that, so we are going to be using RGB, uh, but it gives off the same uh, vibe. It's not really the same, uh, but it's close enough. Anyways, uh, we just want to grab the red, green, and blue values from the lighting we have over here, and then kind of uh, make those dot patterns. So to do that, we need to add in a shader to RGB node. This is the node that is only in EV. And then I want to separate by color. So just add that in. Uh, right now we are viewing the red channel, but you can also view the green channel and then the blue channel. You will see no difference. That is because we are using a white light. But for instance, if I set this color to something more red, something like pink, and we were to view the red channel, you would see this. Then the green channel, you would see uh, more gray and blue will see something like this, which is in between. And this basically just gives us the values of the colors on our screen. And this is going to be useful because we are going to be adding in dots and then multiplying these with these values in order to get them larger in parts where there is more of that color. Anyways, enough yapping. Let's get on with it. So I want to take the camera um, viewport in order to make the dots. Add in a texture coordinate node and use the camera normal. Add that into a mapping node in the vector and then add in a factor math node and set this to multiply. Set the multiply to something like 0.1 and then we are going to add in our Voronoi texture and put that in here. Make sure you are viewing the distance and make sure the randomness is set to zero and then the scale is increased by a little bit. Oh, and uh, I made a mistake. You should use the window coordinate, which works a little bit different than the camera coordinate, but in the render, it looks pretty much the same. In the viewport, it works a little bit better though. Uh, all right, now if you increase the scale, you will see these uh, dots appear, but they are not square. That's because our camera is using 16 by nine aspect ratio. So in order to fix that, we need to play with this scale value here. So just like in the last video, you can add in a combine XYZ node. I set this X to something like 16 and the Y to nine, just your aspect ratio. And now they are square. All right, to create uh, dots out of this, we can add in a math node, set this to greater than or less than, I mean. So we get the white dots where we want them. Then the threshold to something you like, doesn't really matter for now since we are going to be changing this based on how much color is in the scene. So for example, if I set this to red, you will see we have uh, bigger dots where there's more red. All right, so now we have this. In order to make this reflect how much color there is, we need to grab this red channel, put it into the threshold. And you can see the dots are pretty big and I want to multiply them down a little bit. So add in a math node in between us, 
that is the multiply and you can multiply with something like 0.5 but uh, personally i used just a third uh just the theory is if we have three colors they should all uh like take up the same amount of space and it just looks the best so it doesn't really matter what you set that to but i set it to 0.3 all right now we can duplicate this twice and then put in the green value into this value and blue into this bottom one make sure to connect those vectors and i'm also going to add in a value node and connect them to the scale just placing that over here setting the value to something like 100 or 200 doesn't really matter for now we can change that later all right so now if you look at this uh, dots we can see uh, the red channel then the green channel which is a lot less and then the blue channel which is a little bit more but still less than the red channel since we are using a pink light uh, as you can notice these dots are all in the same place which doesn't look really great so we can fix that with the vector coordinates in between all these vector uh, connections we can add in a vector map huh? with the add function and then we can if we preview this we can shift them around a little bit they do take uh, a really small value so we are also going to do a combine xyz and then a math node as well and put it into the x and the y because we don't need the z axis and just set this to multiply and then 0 0.01 to make it a really small value and then we can change this in order to uh, change how much it is shifted so because we have three colors, I'm also going to do this uh, one third as well. And then we're going to duplicate this for the rest of the colors. So duplicate, put the factor in here and then into here. Then I'm going to set this multiply to 0.666 or two thirds in order to shift it up a little bit more. And then duplicate it one last time and connect this up again. Set this to one or zero whatever you want and now if you look at them we can see the red here then the green here if we compare them they're not in the same place which is nice and then the blue as well all in a different place all right and now comes the fun part which is adding the color so we know that for this less than note we are using the red value so we're going to mix it with a uh, red value as well so just colorizing it again we can put the less than in the factor and then set this top value to black and then this this value to just a RGB of red. Duplicate it and duplicate it again and do the same for the rest of these colors. So this should be green and this should be blue. Now we have red, green and blue. And in order to get the embed dots effect, we need to add these two together because RGB is... Um, uh, our primary is based on addition and CMY is based on subtraction, but you can't really do that, uh, the subtract method in Blender because you work with light. So and then I add notes for the addition based primaries of RGB and then just add the red and green together. And then again, these together with blue. And if we take a look at this, and in theory this should work, but I have messed something up, uh, apparently. I'll take a look at what that is. Alright, so um, I don't know what happened with the uh, factor. I didn't do anything different from the material I have on my Gumroad and Patreon. But for some reason I had to do the multiply by 2.25 po uh, and then uh, 0.5 and 0.75 for some reason. But if we look at this reference uh, blend file, you can see I have the same values I used in the video and it works perfectly. It's like the same material, so I have no idea why it didn't work there. Anyways, this is the final material. This is what it will look like in the end. Uh, you can add in textures as well to this. So for example, if you want, you can add in an image texture. For example, this brick wall texture put it into the image input wait for the shader to compile and this is what it will look like so you can see uh, from a distance with a high resolution you can make out the bricks in this even though they're 
are no, none of these colors are in here. You can still perceive them as uh, their colors being there. But if you zoom in, in camera view, you can see these are all blobs. Uh, so yeah, that's how you make this material. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to join the Discord and join the challenge.